Faith is the absence of logic and reason. If you had reason, you no longer need faith. Hello, humans. In the previous video I posted, I showed that faith is not blind. Faith is actually reasonable. But what is faith? Well, a lot of people ask that question. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hmm. So God's word provides the definition of faith, while the direction of faith is implied by the context of everything else found within the Bible. So simply put, faith is believing that and trusting in. Now, what do I mean by this? So the definition and direction of faith contains two aspects, intellectual assent and trust. Intellectual assent is believing something to be true. Trust is actually relying on the fact that that something is true. So let's see what faith looks like. A bridge can help to illustrate this point. Intellectual assent is recognizing that a bridge is a bridge and agreeing that it is designed to support a person who walks across on it. Believing that a bridge is designed to support the weight of a person who walks across on that bridge is the intellectual assent. But actually walking across the bridge and trusting in the bridge that it will actually support your weight and you will not fall through to your death, that is trust. Even the skeptic Bart Ehrman affirms the intellectual ascent that Jesus existed. The reason for thinking Jesus existed is because he is abundantly attested in early sources. But Bart does not place his trust in Jesus for his final destination. But that's why it's not enough to merely have faith. Who or what we have faith in matters. Muslims place their faith in Muhammad. Hindus often place their faith in a multitude of different gods and or goddesses. And even atheists possess faith. <laughs> However, salvation comes only through trust in the finished work of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. So, who or what do you place your faith in? Let me know in the comments section.